Cavitation occurs when fast-moving mechanical parts are in contact with fluids, which is extremely common in bioprocessing pumps and mixers. As an example, imagine a fast-moving Rushton impeller blade, which is moving fastest at the tip. As the impeller surface moves through the fluid, there is an area behind it where the fluid has to chase the impeller blade. At slow speeds, this is not an issue, but the faster the blade moves, the harder the fluid will find it to keep up with the blade, which leads to a localised low pressure region here. As the speed increases, eventually the pressure behind the blade is so low that the fluid vaporises and you end up with a vacuum-like bubble that is known as a cavity. There are two mechanisms by which these cavities damage protein products and increase aggregation. The first is that the cavity edge, a liquid gas interface is formed and protein on this interface can slip, which leads to massive shear. Secondly, there will be a point where the cavity is released or expelled from the tip of the blade, and when this happens, it implodes with huge force, like an explosion going off. This is powerful enough to blow pits in steel, so you can imagine what this does to the relatively fragile proteins in your process stream. Cavitation is very noisy and is easily detected. It sounds like a rapid clattering sound, which is all those implosions going off. It can be remedied by slowing down the moving parts in the process stream, by reducing the pump speeds, or by using larger pumps. <music>